Hello, Keith from Terex here. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to break a chain using our chain breaker. First of all I'd like to show you the weight of the chain breaker. If you can see this scale set to zero, I'm just going to put the tool on it. About 149 grams. A bit of a closer look. This is what this is the chain breaker as it comes. This one's a little dirty, but it also comes with this part, which is used to re-rivet your link. The ball bearing, the ball bearing in the end there is the part that flares the link. Now, in the past, people have been using the the pin here to force into the end of a of a hollow ended link. Uh, but now we use the ball bearing. I'll show you in another video. It's a lot quicker, easier, and far less risk of breaking this pin um, if something goes wrong. So now on to the chain part. So I've got here a piece of 520 SHO. Now this is this changed in their name to GXW and I think it's probably called something else now but it's pretty much RK's strongest chain it's a quad stake you can see the four flattened edges very strong pin difficult to, to, to push out uh, the pin diameter is 5.2 just over 5.2 millimeters it's the same for the 530 the pin diameter doesn't change it's just obviously longer so the pressure applied is the same for a 520, 525, 530 and uh, I'm just going to show you how simple, easy and quick it is to do this. So we just going to open up the bolts. Now I've got a rivet link in there that I used for another video. So I'm just going to break the one behind the rivet link. As you can see, this one here, it's not been messed with. The, head, the, the, the stakes are still on it, just as it would be. So we just snug up the large bolt, make sure the, the other pin isn't touching. Just by hand, it's fine. We take our one of our tie levers, and we fit them over the end there. Obviously you can just use a spanner, or an adjustable spanner. You just need something that's got some length to it so you can hang on to it. In this case we use our other tie lever which happens to fit the pin head. Uh, so it's now the pin's now touching the chain and it's going to show you how simple it is to push this out. This is the hardest part, getting the pin started. As you can hear there's a bit of a snap when the Edges the burrs push through, doesn't always do that noise. This one did, and the pin pops out the back. You can see this, it just breaks off the little burrs. It really is that simple. pin pushed out, pull the chain apart. And that's that. Thanks for watching.